dark a little bit. Sun's coming up in St. Louis. Uh, probably, I'm sure you guys recognize a little video coming in. I unloaded at uh, a CGB port over there in East St. Louis, Illinois, and I had to wait till this morning to load. I'm loading some soda ash over here on the other side of the river, and I'm going to take that to Henrietta, Oklahoma, to a glass plant. It's actually my stomping ground over there. I actually grew up in Old Mogi, Oklahoma, and uh, so I don't know where I'm going today. <laughs> uh, there's one truck in front of me here. He's probably close to being done loading, and looks like we load off a transloader on a uh, off a rail car, and I get loaded and get out of here. Uh, the CGB place in St. Louis was super easy, super fast. wasn't a lot of trucks there, but even if there were a lot of trucks there, that would go fast as big as their operation is. So worked out pretty quickly. And uh, just for you Oakley drivers, just so you know, if you're looking for a washout in St. Louis, the Pilot uh, Flying J combination there in Granite City, which is just on the Illinois side of St. Louis on 50, off 55, uh, across that racetrack, they have a washout. Uh, I didn't know that, but made a few phone calls and some guys at the uh, CGB port told me that so I uh, got the wash out there to get this done but anyway that is what we're going to do today so we will get some video of this and hit the road we'll uh, we'll chat in a little bit Okay, made it to uh, Henriette, Oklahoma. Here at this glass plant, unloading soda ash. That's what soda ash looks like. Very powdery, granular type stuff. Anyway, so pretty easy here. Just pull in, security guard check in. Get me back here and unload me. So uh, I am going to be heading to Little Rock from here. And going to load some granules in the morning. I didn't even ask where I was going. I just know I got an appointment at 10. And uh, I'm going to stop and get this trailer washed out because I'm sure this stuff sticks bad. I ain't going to be no sweeping this out. But uh, that's it. Okay, so last thing I'm going to talk about, and we're going to in this video is uh i know i talked to a few of you last year and a few a few guys started and a few guys didn't oakley last year had wait lists you know two three four months out to be able to get hired and i'm gonna tell you it's just not the case right now um you know they they know i actively recruit guys and i'm telling you if if you got a truck and you got a good driving record and you're ready to go you know as long as the truck's not you know super old Oakley will put you to work quick um, they're needing drivers right now no wait lists um, you go in and get an application get approved within a few weeks uh, you can be doing what I'm doing and I'll tell you guys if you don't have a truck and might need some uh, be pointing in the right direction be sent to some dealers that uh, deal with first-time 
truck buys, our uh, first time truck buyers, uh, Oakley's got a list of people that they send drivers to. I've had several guys that have been recruited that didn't have a truck and they, uh, Oakley pointed them in the right direction and they got a truck now. So that's it. Um, and just, just remember, uh, you know, doing these videos, you know, I, I, I do not lie. I, I like the entertainment purpose of it. it. It gives me something to do during the day other than just drive down the road and putting the videos together. I find it fun, but I do it for a purpose and that's purpose is to recruit drivers. And, uh, I've, I kind of beat myself up about it because there has been a handful of people again, like it happened to me a few years ago that send me emails going, I start orientation Monday, love your videos. It got, got me interested in Oakley, but I never heard from them. So according to them, they started looking at Oakley because of my videos, but I never talked to them. And so, you know, I didn't recruit them and I didn't get credit for it or anything like that. So if you are thinking about coming to Oakley, shoot me an email, send me your phone number. I'll call you or email me. I'll send you my phone number. You can call me and we can talk about it and I can get you hooked up with a recruiter and uh, we can go from there. And, and I appreciate it because it's, uh, you know, you get on with Oakley, you can take advantage of these recruiting bonuses too. So anyway, that's it. I appreciate all the help you guys have given me and just a bonus. If I recruit you, uh, I will be at your beck and call while you're here for the first few months to make sure you can get over the hump of trying to figure out this side of uh, the trucking business if you haven't done it before. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to hit the road and head towards Little Rock here in about 20 minutes when I get empty. And we will talk to you guys again soon. So until next time, you guys take it easy.